Hello and welcome to It Just Works. My name is Virtual Paradise, or you can just call me VP. Today we're going to be looking at the RTX 2080 Ti and how it stands up to mining Ethereum in 2022, which will also translate to the same hash rate for Ethereum Classic, and ETC might be a good option for mining after the Ethereum merge, so let's get into the video. The 2080 Ti was the highest end card in Nvidia's last generation gaming lineup. It was released in September 2018, so the card isn't even four years old yet, and in gaming it still edges out the 3070 Ti a little bit, so it should hold on to some good resale value over time. So to have a look at the 2080 Ti mining performance, this is also a still an absolute beast of a gaming card, I just got this for this PC in my living room. And I also wanted to keep the top off, but to keep dust out, so I came up with what I thought was quite an ingenious idea, which is just getting these thin metal mesh sheeting sort of stuff with the little holes, and then I just like bent the ends, lined the edges with magnets, and it just boop, slots onto the case like that. So it helps keep dust out and helps keep ventilation all over the case as well, which is fantastic. Right, let's go over to the screen and have a look at the hash rates. So my particular 2080 Ti is getting, just at the moment, uh, just under 59 mega hash. But normally when I have the screen turned off, it gets about 59.1 to 59.2 mega hash at 157 watts. So its efficiency is a little bit low, but that's mainly because this card in particular, I couldn't really pull its power limit that far down. I could only pull it down to 65%, otherwise it would start significantly losing hash rate. As from my research online, a lot of people are getting a lot lower than this in wattage. So they're getting close to that 450 kilohash per watt mining ratio. And some people are getting over 60 mega hash as well, which would be lovely. So I'm going to keep my eyes out for some 2080 Ti's still, if I can get them at a good price, because... They're very good cards, and because they're really high-end cards as well from the last generation, they're going to have good resellability for quite a long time still. As for gaming performance, they basically match the 3070 Ti as well, so they're still fantastic performers. If we take a look at what to mine for current profitability on the 2080 Ti, I put my approximate values in at 10 cents a kilowatt hour. And as you can see, we're currently mining around $2.33 worth of Ethereum a day, or around $1.97 a day after power. And as you can see, the profitability is closing in on other coins with 2080 Ti, especially compared to other cards, and that's because the core is so powerful. So if we take a look at where Ethereum Classic is at the moment on the 2080 Ti, we're currently at around $1.63 a day, or $1.27 after power. Taking a look at eBay, these are going from anywhere between 600 to over a thousand pounds. But because you're getting still a 3070 Ti performance card, it depends on what you're buying it for. If you're buying it specifically for mining, you'll probably want to spend less money than if you're buying it as a gaming card. So to conclude, I think the 2080 Ti is still a great card for mining the Ethereum algorithm. It's easy to overclock and find the right locked core clocks in the mining software. The 2080 Ti will normally need two 8-pin power connectors, so take that into consideration when thinking how many splitters you need, and mining around 58 to 62 mega hash between 130 and 150 watts, it's still proven to be a pretty efficient mining card, around the same or even slightly more efficient than a lot of LHR cards. But also still being a beast of a gaming card, edging out the 3070 Ti, it should still hold on to some value over the next few years. So overall, I'm still very happy to pick up these cards at the right price, which at the moment my limit would be under £500 or around $625. Well, that's it for this video. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content or learned something new. Please drop a like, consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one. Happy mining. Peace.